I work for St John Ambulance as an ambulance paramedic and in that role I'm also the station manager at Shenton Park. Before I worked for St John I was heavily involved in surf lifesaving um, from a young age and that probably sparked a bit of interest in the ambulance service as well as I got a little bit older. So I've known Graham now for a few years. We first started off teaching in the College of Pre-Hospital Care, teaching the Grade 2 students over a period of about six months. This is the last qualifying course that the ambulance officers go through before being made up to a paramedic level. From there he's put possibly hundreds of students through their training um, and sort of been able to impart some of his training and his knowledge onto those guys and then gone out there and been able to sort of work with those same um, same crew and reinforce those ideas and actually being able to sort of see that um, sort of implemented across the service. He has a great way with our junior officers of mentoring, encouraging, supporting and teaching them. His students benefit greatly when they work with him. And Graham's involvement with the uh, design and um, facilitation of the new ambulance station has seen a lot of areas of improvement from our previous designs in a very practical point of view. It's been great to have feedback from the crews, they're really comfortable working here and the depot seems to flow really well. It all started with Graham with helping to identify a suitable site and then he had a lot of input into the design stage throughout the project which is his first hand knowledge of how the depot should operate. And that was made evident when you walk into the depot, immediately on your right is a large medical storeroom. And we call this the med store. Graham was very proactive in making sure that this storeroom was fitted out appropriately to make sure that everything that those paramedics need is in the one area. On top of that, there's a nice big layout bench that they can do all their testing and checking and cross-referencing. And that alone allows enough room for plenty of paramedics to work in the one area. He made the building flow a lot easier for us. Things like the bike racks, the safe parking, the automatic roller doors, even having things like a charger station for our iPads, it's just made life a lot easier. One of the ideas that he did come up with, which was great, was going with what's called ground loops in front of the roller doors into the garage, which means we don't need remotes anymore within the vehicles, which is great because they get lost, they get damaged, there's ongoing maintenance. And so that was one example of how Graham really contributed to the project. Very proud of what we've been able to achieve over the last few years. Never thought too much of it. I just thought I was doing my job and wanted to make sure that obviously this building was coming up and wanted to make sure it was as comfortable and worked as well as it could for the for the crews on the road. That was sort of the main motivation for it. So it's um, yeah, quite humbling to to be approached to do things like this. At the end of May and into June this year, I headed off on the Fabric Scholarship. I was fortunate enough to participate in that. We headed off to Malta with a group of us as a group of five, and we saw St John from a historical perspective. And then we also visited ambulance services in London, Leeds and Toronto. Throughout our time visiting the other ambulance services, obviously we were able to gauge them on how they're going as to where we're headed. And at the moment we're a world-class service, leading in many aspects. Some things that we do differently and some things that we can consider changing, but I think it's important to acknowledge the work that's gone to get us to where we are. And we're at a very solid base that we can move forward from here and, and choose and, and do things in an evidence-based manner so that we achieve the best outcomes. Quite a bit of our special operations training we undertake down at Forestfield with the Department of Fire and Emergency Services and they have a lot of vertical rescue training areas there and confined space training areas which we use our rope work and set up rescue scenarios in amongst that equipment. They also have a large rubble pile which we um, I guess that simulates an earthquake or a collapsed structure or after a cyclone or something like that. And, and yeah, we spend a, quite a bit of time crawling through there. Now one thing about Graham is not only that he's a great station manager, but clinically he's very sharp. He knows his paramedic job very well. He plans what he does, he executes what he does, and he follows up what he does. And uh, that's uh, some great qualities to, uh, to get your job done efficiently and effectively. He tends to look at things from a very holistic point of view and that gives him a, a really good basis to um, then go about sort of his decision making process and it's of, often, you know, f fortunately that means normally sort of, you know, better patient outcomes, less risk to himself, his partners, all those sorts of factors. 
In my dealings with Graham, I found him to be nothing but absolutely 100% honest in everything he does. He's always willing to help. He's got a very positive attitude, as well as attention to detail. He had a good attention to detail, come up with some great suggestions, and always trying to strive for continuous improvement. And I think that probably stems from his clinical abilities, but he brings that over to other aspects of his career, which obviously works really well. As a station manager, he's easy to approach. Um, if you need something done, he'll always have it done straight away. Um, working alongside him as acting station manager, I can always rely on him to um, pick up if I've forgotten something or, or if I need help with something, he's always there, even if he's not on shift. If he ever comes to you with a, with a problem, he also comes to you with a solution. Um, and more often than not, he's got the problem worked out and actioned um, before I have to do anything, uh, which um, actually makes my job quite easy with Graham. When he really wanted something, he wouldn't give up. He'd just keep going, keep going, and until that point that it was either included because it was a great idea or the, the rationale was strong enough for him to let it go. But I think that's a great strength that he has, and, and that obviously transfers into his employment here. Uh, the only other thing I'd probably say is I know, I've, I know Graham's family quite well. He and Christy and two boys, Lockie and Pat, they're just a great family and Graham's a great family man. I guess with our work, with the shift work, I'm pretty lucky because I can spend a lot of time with the family. So on days off, I can make it to some of the playgroups and toddler gyms and things like that with the boys. And I work with St John as well, so I'm a paramedic as well and that's how we met in the job. We do counsel each other a little bit. I suppose it's not counsel. I, I prefer to think of it as listening um, and just relating. So if something comes up for one of us, chances are the other one has experienced it, maybe not to that degree, but in a way. So that's really good that we can be there for each other and if nothing else, just understand what they're going through. And having a supportive environment makes that transition outside of work easier um, at the end of each day. I think it's really important to have that support, even if it doesn't seem like much at the time, or even if what you're saying doesn't feel like it much of a, a big issue. Sometimes just being able to voice that is really great. He's a very gentle personality, and he really listens and thinks about things, and I think that's really come through with things like Shenton Park Depot. Um, he's put a lot of work into that and not just highlighting problems but always trying to offer a solution and that's really what I love about him. He's, he's like that with everything. He loves to research and really know what he's doing and I think he's done that really well. I'm really glad that he's finally getting some recognition. Not that he wanted it but I think he really deserves it. If you give him an opportunity he will take every part of that to make the most of it. Yeah, he's really made me proud this year.